Good morning students. Today we are going to discuss a very important topic. Action potential of a neuron. And in last class itself we discussed how resting membrane potential of neuron is minus 70. Mainly three things which are responsible for resting membrane potential. Sodium potassium ATPS, leaky sodium channels, leaky potassium channels. So today we are going to discuss how this resting membrane potential is converted to action potential. So for first definition of resting membrane potential is I have drawn a cell membrane which is a trust and we know RFP resting membrane potential of minus 70 millivolt for a neuron. So this is a neuron which is a trust and the inside is negative, the outside is positive. But now when I give a stimulus, not just understand carefully, I am giving a stimulus to the neuron, I am exiting the neuron. So what will happen is this positive ions try to come in. So what happens once the excited membrane new plus comes in minus now i am giving a stimulus to the cell membrane there is a change and there is there is a change in the potential difference like minus so what happens obviously compare this diagram this diagram so more positivity here it is negative inside here it is more positive inside or this is minus 70 and this is changing to minus 55 minus 40 minus 30 as the stimulus increases so just coming back to the acting potential curve the resting membrane potential of neuron i am taking example of neuron is minus 70 millivolt and this is the stimulus so i am giving a stimulus now just understand this is polarization so already the cell membrane is polarized polarization means there is already resting membrane potential which is because of inside is negative outside positive and the resting membrane potential of neuron is minus 70 millivolt that means the neuron is polarized but when i give a stimulus there is a change from minus 70 you can see here yeah that is there is a change from minus 70 it is going so this we call it as graded potential so the resting membrane potential is minus 70 at the resting membrane potential i give a stimulus the resting neuron this is excited neuron so what happens the positive is coming in so from minus 70 the potential is going in the positive direction or it is increasing you can see here so from minus 70 why i have marked this minus 55 is this is usually threshold so very important note it down for neuron usually the threshold stimulus is minus 55 that means from minus 70 to minus 50 we call it as graded potential so graded potential means action potential has not yet started so the potential is slowly increasing but has not reached the maximum stimulus for an action potential to be generated you can see here from minus 70 up to minus 55 is graded the stimulus has started excitation has occurred but this rapid increase has not yet occurred so now the next question arises why from minus 70 up to minus 55 this graded potential where the action potential has not started in full swing so until minus 55 millivolt the potassium channels also are also open sodium channels are also open so there is no full positive entry like how i sold once excitation starts it has to positive activity has to enter inside so that the polarization is changed which we call it as deep polarization deep polarization means the polarization is gone, deep, 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 decoding, we can write, we don't know, decoding like that. But understand what happens, once, that's why I call this as threshold, minus 55. Once this threshold potential is reached, the firing state has reached, the sodium channels take control. When the potential is reached at minus 55 volt, the sodium channels have started to open. You can see here, this is sodium channels, so this is called voltage getter. So the voltage getter sodium channel starts opening from minus 55 millivolts and what are we expected sodium will be coming in sodium will be coming in sodium will be coming in these gates are open the sodium channels open and the gates are also open so so the gate is also open so understand at minus 55 millivolt the more sodium channels are open voltage getter sodium channels are open and so here we occur sodium influx so why sodium influx is occurring because voltage getter sodium channels are open as the sodium channels are open sodium is coming in so once sodium is coming in this minus 55 is started to change the 
up to minus 40 minus 10, it keeps on going in even it goes up to plus 30 and this phase is called deep polarization so deep polarization means the starting stage where the minus is inside plus is outside is polarization when that is decoded so now what happens plus 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 minus 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 so this stage is called a deep polarization phase so this is one of the phases of action potential and very very important once the sodium influx occurs voltage gated sodium channel because of at the minus 50 millivolt the voltage gated sodium channels open as the voltage gated sodium channel opens more sodium influx occurs this sodium influx causes still more gated channels to open still more sodium influx still more gated channels open this is called positive feedback so note it down one of the positive feedback is sodium influx that is occurring in this action potential curve depolarization up to almost plus 30 we call this as spike potential overshoot but now what happens after the action potential curve from minus something once it reaches plus 30 it again starts decreasing you can see here it is coming back it is all otherwise minus is trying to come inside the cylinder so this we call it, it is coming trying to come back re-entry so repolarization this phase is called repolarization usually because of potassium channel and remember not only sodium channel potassium channel is also present so we all know the function of potassium channels is voltage gated potassium channels is potassium will be going out so sodium entry causes depolarization because of these potassium channels potassium reflux occurs so potassium reflux potassium is going out potassium is going out means whatever pluses come inside that is depolarization the reverse is happening that is potassium reflux so potassium is going out so this sodium influx is an example of positive feedback more plus more plus more plus keep it on coming in until you reach plus 30 but once you reach the positive it is again coming back to negative which is repolarization so this is an example of negative feedback trying to bring it back to normal now the next question arises very very important please concentrate okay plus 30 millivolt why still further the sodium channels are not opening why further plus is not coming in because this is voltage data voltage gated means it is dependent on voltage so once plus 30 is which what happens is this will be like this yeah. or otherwise the activation gate is inactivation the activation gate is closed so the gate is inactivated when it comes in it cannot come inside because the gate is closed understand here yeah? this gate is closed this gate is closed and at the same time the potassium channels are open where potassium reflux occurs so minus plus is coming out so this is called repolarization it is coming back to normal negative feedback repolarization but you can see here it is not coming back to rmp minus 70 it's still going down yeah so it is going down now i can roughly draw you so this is called hyperpolarization hyper polarization so it is expected negative feedback means it is expected to come back to minus 70 but why it is going beyond minus 70 like minus 80 the reason is the potassium channels are very slow to close as the potassium reflux occurs the potassium channels are very slow to close so for this to close time is taken so that is the reason for the hyperpolarization so that definitely they will ask why there is this one from minus 70 to minus 90 or whatever it is the hyperpolarization is due to the potassium channels are opening right so because of the potassium channel opening all the plus is going out so from my plus 30 it is coming down to minus 70 but to prevent the further loss of plus ions the potassium channels has to close but the potassium channels are closing but it takes little bit time to close potassium channels are slow to open and slow to close so as it takes some time to close that time which it leaves a little bit extra time this happens this is because of slow closer of potassium channel this is called hyperpolarization now next question okay it has come here why again it is coming back to minus 70 which is bringing it from the hyperpolarization again to back to the RMP rest resting membrane potential yeah already we saw genesis of resting membrane potassium that potassium leaky channels in fact the main thing here I can tell it is sodium potassium pump so these are the phases of 
action potential curve here i have to only the example of neuron hope you understood today about the phases of action potential and the explained with gating of channels how sodium channels how potassium channels operate why hyperpolarization occur if you like this video please share to other students and other medical community friends we will meet you in next class thank you